little minty. Like oh, something yeah, something pretty. Hold on a second. Juki junkies, this is Gigi. How can I help you? Hi, this is Nick. I'm I'm a, a little bit fragile at this point. I really need an industrial machine. I know I need an industrial. I just know it. I know it. I know it. I need to make bags. I need to make uh uh I need to make quilts. I need to do everything, but I really need some extra power because my domestic machine is just not cutting it with this extra thick materials that I'm trying to do these bags. So I want an industrial because I know it can do everything. Well, hi Nick. This is Gigi. <laughs> And Boki is here with us. It sounds like, yeah, we need to dissect this a little further for you, Nick. <laughs> let's break it down let's break a little it down. bit for you. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Hey guys, it's Boki here with Gigi's Fabric Shop, home to Juki Junkies, and I'm here today with Gigi aka the boss. So we're going to do a fun little video today where we're going to talk about which machine do you need, right? Knowing the difference between needing an industrial and knowing the difference between needing something more um, home use, like a TL machine, something more mechanical along that line. So Nick called us here a little frantic trying to figure out what he needs. He has mm -hmm. so many goals and ambitions, so we need to figure out what to get Nick. So we figured let's make a YouTube video out of it. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> let's do this. All right, guys, so let's talk about the topics that we're going to talk about in this video. The first thing that we're going to discuss is who's ready to buy an industrial machine. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> the next one is questions to ask yourself before yeah. buying an industrial machine. This that's, is a really good one. That's a really good one. Yeah. I had to write them down because there's quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little fabric bolt here. <laughs> and then the bad news yeah. to Nick who called and wants the machine that has all this Bad news and good news, Nick. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we have to discuss that. Yeah. And support yep. and service for your industrial machine. Right. And what do sewing machine companies don't really, they don't want to share these things with you, right? They're not going to tell you the real things we're going to talk about right now. So this is going to be all you need to know when you're deciding, do I need an industrial? So let's start up here. Are yeah. you ready? And our goal is to make sure that you get what you need, right? not what we need. We're matchmakers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about if you are ready to buy an industrial machine. And one of the things that I usually say is, well, do you feel like you've outgrown your TL machine? Right, yeah, that's a great place to kind of look. Like, what are you on right now? Right. Where are you at? If you're on like a hand-me-down machine, then maybe you're not ready to make this big jump, or maybe you are, you know, right. it depends on everyone's circumstance, or are you here already and you thought this was all I needed and are you already outgrowing it? Oh, and some people have a little tiny travel machine and right. they've never sewn on this beauty. Right. So it's like you go from a travel machine to this, that's a big jump. So right. we need to be over here. So yeah. you might not you be ready. Evaluate. So that's something to think about. Yeah. Also speeding up your production. Right. Yeah, that's a big one. So you like, know? are you, do you need to go faster? Do you need to, are you doing this for a business? Or sometimes it's not even about production production necessarily. It's about, you know, power. So there's things that go into it. Are you doing it for speed, quantity? Are you doing it for hobby, but you need something more powerful? It's, it's or you want to sew with a little bit of more butter? Yeah, like that like warm, smooth process. Nice fluidity. Yeah. So that's I one. Think, I think I would know the answer to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no hand cranking. No hand cranking, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, or do you not want any hesitations or limitations? Right. Which that is when you are ready to just, hey, take it up to that next level. Right. I want my stitches more defined. Right. I really want to focus on industrial thread. Right, I was going to say, right? I want to do big, thick thread. Like, you want to work with that text, like 90 thread. This machine's not going to give you that. So, that's another good indicator that you're ready here. You know, you're ready to make that big jump up. I think that covers a lot about that question. So sh we should do the, what's to ask yourself? Because we can ask you all these questions, but you gotta ask yourself some things first. So let's talk about we that. We make you think. Right. We don't make it easy. Our job is to interview you. Yes. So the questions to ask yourself is, when jumping into an industrial machine, mm -hmm. the biggest one for me, Mama Bear comes out. <laughs> and Mama Bear says, are you self-driven? Right. Do you teach yourself? Are you a go-getter? Um, you know, if something breaks down in the machine, are mm -hmm. you willing to try it on your own? Right. Yeah. Are, are you, you a problem solver? You know, or are you, great one. are you, are you ready to take on that challenge? Because we're not here to make this machine seem all fluffy and super easy, right? There's definitely some challenges naturally with mm -hmm. any machine, some learning curves. Are you ready for that? And you there know? is an in 
there is intimidation. Yeah, I'm going to first get it. I, I always bit. call it like the 747. It's just going to take off and yeah. it does kind of scary. But you got to ask yourself those questions. Right. And if you're that type of person that is very self-driven, educates yourself, mm -hmm. goes the extra mile to look for that answer, then yes, this absolutely. Is Without a doubt. The other question to ask is space. Right. Okay, when this, like a, a in any industrial machine is gonna come with a um, table. Table. It has its own setup. It doesn't just sit on a tabletop. You don't have that ease. Of course, you gotta make room with any sewing machine, but this is a whole nother level. And I think it's like 47 by 21. Yeah, you have to it's, look that up. it's definitely a big, big space. You have to find the room for it naturally too. So that's a big one to remind yourself. Yep. And then the next thing to ask yourself is, um, service. Yeah. So I would say 99% of the service calls that we get for this machine, we can actually teach you how to fix it. Oh yeah. Over the phone or we create a YouTube video. Yeah. And that's support right there for you guys. Just yep. for you guys. <laughs> yeah. So, that's... so do you have service? Mm -hmm. what, so when you purchase it from somewhere else or from us, whoever you buy from, what kind of service do you offer? Yeah. You right. know, what are you getting out of that company that you're buying it from? Are you just exchanging this deal and then you never talk to each other ever again. I'm laughing because I think the last time that someone called me and their machine was went off timing, I was kayaking and looking at the manatees. So, um, yeah, we provide service. We pick up the phone, <laughs> all right? We pick up the phone. That's a really, really big one. So we're here to help you when you have those questions, when you have those concerns. David has a setup video. So we are here to help you along the entire journey of this a little bit intimidating machine. Yeah, but not to scare you, these machines are set up in factories often. You know, they're in those big warehouses. Yeah. They're not high maintenance machines. They aren't. They really are not. That's a really good one. Yeah, yeah. that's a good thing to point out. Um, and honestly, I think we only hear from our customers the first time that maybe they take it out of timing. Yeah. And then when they're putting it together. Yeah, like, oh, where does the screw go or something yeah, like that. But, but other than that, it's super easy peasy. I love selling that because I don't hear so often. I know. <laughs> you it's, know. It's a little intimidating, but once you get the ropes, it's super easy sailing from there. And that's why you got to be that go-getter that Gigi mentioned um, prior to that too, because you have to have that drive to succeed, you yeah. know? So let's talk about the bad news for Nick that called us. Yeah. Not so bad. Not so good. It's just There's want... good and bad. Right. There's good and bad. He wanted to sew bags. He wanted to quilt. He, I think he wanted a free motion quilt. He wanted everything yeah. in one He was machine. just like, I want to do it all, so I must need an industrial, yeah. right? Which is not true. So the question we asked them is, what are you needing a sewing machine the most for? Yeah. What, like, are, what are you missing out? Is yeah. it, you know, are you really needing a sewing machine for quilting? Mm -hmm. Is it for bag making? If he tells me, hey, it's for bag making, or hey, it's to do the upholstery of my golf carts, right. and it's 90%, right. 80%, then I'm going to lean you towards that industrial machine. That specialty. Or, or I mean, I mean that specific specialty. Exactly. Yeah. So when we're looking at a machine like this, like the TL series machines, whether it's the 2010 or the TL18, Maybe that would be good if he said, well, I'm like 50-50. Right, like he's figuring it out right now. You know, he doesn't really know what is his, his main mm -hmm. goal right now. So if he needed that variety right now to figure it out, 100%. This would oh, be yeah. that perfect fit. Because in this machine, you literally could have a, a throw plate that could be thin fabric, thick, thick, and medium. Lots of different accessories. But you're not gonna get that over here. One specialty on the on the industrial. So if you wanna do heavy duty bag making, that's what you need, all right? So that's that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, and something to keep in mind with the TL models, these are semi-industrial machines. So these are kind of like that step right before you jump into that industrial yes, machine. Yes. You're gonna get a major workhorse. And mm -hmm. I love when we Compare this to kind of like vehicles. So this is like your S SUV, right? You know, you're kind of like do it all, kind of thing. Pack all the kids in there, right? Yeah, <laughs> pick it up, take it as you go. But then you have the big. What do you call those trucks? The semi trucks. The semi trucks. This yeah. is a semi truck. You only get to take your partner with you. Can't bring all the kids. Yeah. So in the sewing world you have, this is going to be a very specific yeah. type of use. It's going to 
so without hesitation because right. it has that built-in walking foot. You mm -hmm. can sew major heavy layers. I wish I had some samples of yeah. fabrics in my hand to yeah. show you guys, but that's what this one is going to be. It's going to be for that heavy duty right. need. And it's We're not at, mobile either. So that's something to remember. It's actually something great. And you I, know, I meant to it doesn't move that. around. Like there, when you get this, this guy is staying in place. This I is mean, it. This is it, right? It's going to stay in its place and it's going to work hard for you. Or this is, you know, a little bit more flexible. You move it around with you as you go. So that is also something to keep in mind and with servicing as well. This is not the easiest thing to pick up and take to a service department for them to look at you. So it's really important to have support like me and Gigi talked about earlier in the video. So. Yeah, that's actually great. Yeah. That's um, and like we said before, you know, the nice thing about it is when you purchase from us, we take great pride in, in customer service and supporting you through the lifetime of the ownership right. of that machine. And we will hold your hand along the way and mm -hmm. we will answer phone after hours because we're known for that, Yeah, which is crazy at times. So but. that makes us think about what other sewing machine companies are not gonna tell you. So, so other sewing machine companies are not gonna be so truthful. And I know sometimes it kind of sounds like we're scaring people away from industrials, but that's not what it is. We're here to tell you the reality and really uncover if that's well, what you Well, and need. really not to talk bad about anyone, but my pet peeve and, and the reason we thought, hey, let's cover this yeah. is because of the things that we see people posting our examples <laughs> on our Facebook day. group yeah. and the phone calls that yeah. we get yeah. so we're not going to mention any names because we really don't want to talk about anyone right. but what we want to say is this is what we hear right and for example we had a lady that said I wanted to buy the 1541 with casters I purchased it at my local dealership he didn't have the casters and he was like no 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 you don't need it well, she is 5'9", yeah. and she needs the casters because it would lift it up and make it a lot easier, yeah. more ergonomically correct for her. Yeah. So one of the things to look out is, hey, are you selling me a machine based on the inventory that you have? Right. Or are you selling me something yeah. that I need? We're not here to convenience ourselves with what we have. We're here to make sure we get you the right machine because if you're happy, we're happy, right? Yeah. So Another one that I heard recently, and that one kind of really upset me because it was her retirement gift. Aww. And she wanted to do bag making and she went to a store. And I kid you not, these are, these are stories that we hear all the time. And they actually sold her a domestic machine that they promised her that she could do bag making. And it was like a $10,000 machine and her machine hesitated. And her big thing was bag making. Mm. Well, you know what? She actually ended up selling that machine, taking a loss, and she bought a Juki 1541 from us. Aww, On, like, so I'm crazy. almost blushing because I, I, I literally remember this lady and I felt so bad. And it is often yeah. that people are either changing careers, um, coming into, hey, I wanna sell bags, or hey, I am retiring, and this is that one it's big purchase. It's a hobby, purchase. you know, it's, and, it's your hobby. Well, and also it's an investment, so we want right. to make sure that we are looking out for you. We right. are not selling you something that is not what what is good for us. It's right. for you. Okay? It's great for a business as well. You want to go into retirement and you want to maybe do a hobby, find some joy a out of it. side hustle. But make a little <laughs> side hustle, right? Make a little money out of it. Upholstery is an amazing business, right? Being able to do something that not everyone is blessed with that ability to do, right? Not everyone knows how to sew, right? It seems like a very big community, but not everyone knows this talent. So you can make a little bit of extra money here. Do those fun little project mix bags, play with leather a little bit, do some upholstery projects. It's but it comes with a warning. Yes. People that buy an industrial machine, sometimes they think, oh, this is just gonna be a little side hustle. I'm just gonna sell a couple on Etsy or at the local farm Get market. Ready. And then all of a sudden it's boom. Yeah. They're calling us and they're buying that second machine. And I'm right. like, what? Get you told ready. me you were just playing, you know? Get ready. So anyways, we look forward to helping you. Yes, of course. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. If you're really contemplating and really interested in the industrial world, Gigi is planning on doing a fun video where we talk about the two biggest industrials we see all the time, the 1181 and the 1541. So we're going to do a comparison on those two. I'm excited um, for that. If you're interested more in this side of the, the spectrum, there is already a comparison video. Video I did talking about the TL machine so you could figure out if that's really what you want. There is quite a few TLs to decide from, so check that out. Uh, David has a setup video on this machine as well, so you can kind of see the ins and outs of this machine, how that is set up, and see if that's a challenge you are up for. So make sure you watch that video to see how that setup works um, and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and to hope we hope to hear from you soon.